Hi, today we're going to discuss the VRT. The VRT is a self-contained power unit which is self-sufficient, comes with a warranty manufacturers of five years. It's really a trouble-free device. There is one particular aspect of the VRT that needs to be inspected on a four-year interval, and that is called the DC shunt resistor, which is located inside the VRT. And we'd like to show you where that's at and how to test it. The DC shunt resistor is located inside the VRT housing behind the main cables that are feeding the furnace from the VRT, the secondary cables. The secondary cables will need to be disconnected, the safety covers removed, but only after a lockout tagout procedure has been followed and adhered to for de-energization of the VRT prior to servicing. This is the DC shunt resistor. Each VRT core has a DC shunt resistor on it. This is the converter resistor that powers the secondary of the VRT. This normally runs hotter with elevated temperatures, which is to be considered normal. But at the four year interval, this should be inspected for signs of looseness, arcing, and or bluing of the connections indicating an overheating condition or high resistivity. If this is discovered, it should be removed, cleaned, and reinstalled. If this resistor is left unchecked, and should it overheat and break or lift off one of the connections, the secondaries of that particular VRT will run up to full output regardless of the demand or safeties of the furnace. So it's imperative that this resistor be inspected and checked at a four-year interval.